Hey there, folks. It's uh, 2.42 p.m. Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. Um, don't mind the lack of overalls. Uh, I uh, When I got rushed down to the hospital and everything, uh, they had some straps on me pretty tight. And so, like I said... Uh, April 20th of 2000, and I was in a bad work accident, and I got uh, accidentally doused with quite a few gallons of gasoline, lit on fire, slid right through a puddle of it. Uh, uh, and uh, anyway, I had to have some skin grafts, and uh, what I just went through, it tore up uh, one of my skin grafts on the back of my right leg, so it's I'm leaving it open to the air to finish healing. It's kind of a large area no biggie anyway uh, the overalls haven't gone away I just got to heal up a little bit uh, it was important I got this out now I have some other important things to say especially about uh, family source family uh, and some others being attacked by really strong stuff and how it's being handled and uh, there's too many of you that I know that be affected here and there I, I just it's not a major freak out kind of thing whatsoever but you need to be aware of it so when it happens it, if you're not ready to see that for yourself yet you need to know uh, I've mentioned there's a lot of source waking up now all over the place just just starting <coughs> excuse me okay anyway um this is a very time-sensitive uh, uh, video. Uh, tonight, Wednesday night, uh, 1-25-2017. <laughs> it's funny, the time's 2 44 is massive uh, fortitude, and 2 is uh, understanding. Being fortitudinous to understand what's going on. Um, the uh, Around Alaska, there's... Uh, some things that are about to happen uh, and that's going to be uh, um, it, it, this has to do with warfare okay you will see some ships and then they'll move inward some of them move back out over sea it's going to be uh, around Alaska Yukon area uh, I'll show you where uh, before this is over and uh, but first I want to talk about something that everyone's excited about is these uh, tunnels of water going into the uh, sky. I'm going to explain you, to you who's doing what and why. Um, these things have happened on and off a long time, uh, you know, on and off for years. Uh, those people that come to visit, uh, ocean water can be separated. They can easily separate it into all those different smaller um, uh, element, elements and uh, they'll take the H2O separate it, clean it, um, and put in the minerals they need for their bodies, and they drink it, food, you know, stuff like that. Um, also, any of our plants that they have on board, they literally uh, uh, work with, you know, use it to water them. Uh, also, the Allurian have really been kicking up, you know, their water consumption. They have to. It has to go on their ships where they literally put it into the ground when they start fixing up the the soil so everybody can eat. It's a necessary part of growing crops. You'll see all this stuff soon in the future, but you're starting to see what's going on now, and I'm just trying to explain it to you. Um, a lot of stuff I get comes from this Secure Team 10. Um, guy's got a great heart and everything else. He doesn't understand what's going on. That's not any fault of his. Um, but... Uh, I'm explaining it to you so you know. Um, I always mute his video and explain what's happening because I don't want you to hear what he's saying and be thrown off the wrong way. He says he doesn't know, but it could be this or that. I don't want you going there. I want you literally to have an open mind. I want to explain to you what's happening and then you see how you feel about it, okay? Uh, that's the problem with the internet. Uh, everyone's searching for answers and there's so much starting to happen Who's got the truth? What do you do? Spend all day doing that instead of relaxing, calming down, and learning how to see things for yourself. Okay, now the first thing we want to talk about is uh, the UF uh, UFOs uh, uh, taking the water up. Okay, now there's also there's other stuff that we're going to talk about, and then we're going to talk about the, the battle that's about to happen, and it starts it all starts tonight. Um, 
uh, uh, like I said, around Alaska. Anyway, uh, uh, this uh, video, like I said, it's by, I think, Secure Team 10. Secure Team 10 and uh, it's called UFOs Sucking Up Water from Oceans Around the Globe, 12317. Okay, let's take a look at it and let me explain what's going on so you don't, there's still no one freaks out or gets excited or starts going off on some crazy tangent. Next thing you know, uh, David Wilcock will have an explanation for whatever, who knows, Martian farts. Uh, here we go. I, I love the guy, don't get me wrong, it's just, too, he's too much. Uh, here's the video, the first one. Okay, folks, here's uh, the Secure Team 10 video. UFO sucking up water from oceans around the globe, 12317. Okay. Try and get in here to. A uh, basic picture, let's see, was it three more? So, two, do, 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 do. Okay, now this little thing here, don't worry about this, he gets excited about this, but it's not. This is a cylindrical thing, it's not egg-shaped, okay? This little device right here literally is a container, a good-sized container of water that is being sent to someone else with also base materials, uh, base elements and materials that are in there. Now, they're keeping it suspended as they, as they fly it to another ship, actually some other ships, where they're all taking some samples of it. This again is about our Allurian and uh, Serpoian, the Serpoians are the Greys, um, uh, folks working together. Uh, this is a joint task force to save this planet, and believe it or not, us too. And let's see, let me see if I can find that's well, here's a better picture of this. That's a little better picture of the water spout. And that's where it goes away after the other stuff is taken away. One more time, let's go. Do, 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 do. But you can see where it goes right up into the clouds. That water's just getting sucked right up. And that's where it goes into the cloud and just disappears. They're just using energy to pull it up. And there's our little buddy again. They say it's a UFO or something. It's not. It's a container. It's a remote control container that's being sent to two other ships that are up there. And they keep it in this. They keep the. Some of it is actual raw uh, water samples. Some of it's been cleaned. All right, now, these are all the war spouts that are, you know, that have come on, uh, that are coming out uh, uh, over the ocean. They, uh, someone's trying to say it's two tornadoes. I don't know if you all have seen a tornado, or what, what do they call them, a typhoon or something, whatever, uh, over the water. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're not like this. Okay, very seldom is a straight line like that. You know, they're a little more torn up. This is a little fatter down here and gets thinner. Um... So, uh, let me try and get where, uh, there you go, that little buddy there, look at that, this water going up, now let's see if he does, about to capture this thing, no, one more time, come on, let's go buddy. Whoever, you know, takes these pictures, they do the best they can, and then uh, this gentleman here at Secure Team 10 is good about keeping on. See this? Look at it flop. It's, got, it's rotating. That's what's going on. And he should, there we go. See this? It's cylindrical. It's a cylinder. And then it's got little drive mechanisms on it, and it literally turns in circles as it's going, keeping the actual uh, water and the contents uh, suspended. That's a cylinder that holds a water. It's a round cylinder. And this is the basic drive unit that takes care of it. Um, uh, this has got some type of uh, energy. Uh, um, call it a battery if you want. It's not, but it's some type of en energy uh, transducer or inducer or something, whatever. Um, and there you go. That's what the samples are. It's like a huge, it's like a huge round barrel and it sends it on off down the road 
you can see how it's turning over. Now you can see the clear side on it. I don't know why they call that egg shape because it's very definite lines. But anyway, it's a, I can tell you looking out of my head as well as my eyes, it's a cylinder. Okay. So there's some people watching it. They're just kind of like, "Holy mackerel! Check this thing out." And there it is. There's a Lurian mothership up there that also has Serpoleans in it. <coughs> and they're just grabbing the water. <coughs> they use it for drinking. They use it for watering plants. The Lurian need it to put on their ships when they literally just softly fly over uh, 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 barren soil and fertilize it with the uh, necessary uh, um, natural organic, uh, I don't want to say chemicals, but nutrients that are normally part of the earth along with clean water, the uh, seeds, and it actually turns up the soil and plants the seeds. Wait till you see what happens. These people are here to literally save this planet. Okay, be right back. Okay, well, uh, there's that. Um, Folks, that's been going on for a long time. It doesn't mean if, if you see a water spout uh, in the water that it's uh, a ship sucking up uh, water like that. But uh, there's one person that uh, on the video said something about uh, congratulations. This guy uh, captured a, uh, uh, what, a, a water spout and a bird flying by. Anybody who looks at that and says it's a bird either needs new glasses or needs something more important. <laughs> um, it's amazing how the, the storm up there didn't have beans for turbulence. And uh, yet the turbulent water was being sucked up right into it. I've had a tornado right over my house. Uh, at one point, a shelter that I was uh, involved saving dogs in in Cummings, Georgia, um, there was a tornado watch, and you looked at it, you could see the dark skies with everything coming straight down. I literally drove to it, and I wound up being inside the, the outer edge of a tornado actually in it. The water was coming horizontally. Uh, uh, none of the cars got picked up and sucked away. Very strong. Uh, it sounded like a 200-foot uh, tall uh, robotic dog growling. That's what a tornado sounds like. Um, you couldn't see a foot in front of you, in front of the windshield. So, um, uh, but I've, when I had one drop in the house, uh, just it started coming down in the house and wound up ripping up uh, my neighbor's stuff over here. Um, you you can look, you see the you see everything circling around in a circle. Well, if you look at that line of water coming up. You can see it moving. It may be a little funneling action to it, but the main thing is it's it's separate. The cloud of self that goes into it is not moving like this. It's like, dude, um, there are people who just want to say nothing's real, there's nothing great, because uh, if there was, it'd be me. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on there. And you also have this uh, disinformation planners. So, you know, a lot of them with the government, the FBI, CIA, they're big on that. Keep the public stupid because it's easier for us to deal with them that way. Uh, apparently, really, they're just stupid idiots. Anyway, uh, whatever. This video isn't about bashing anyone or anything. I just get tired of it. It's important everybody has the uh, opportunity to see what's going on. Um, to understand what's going on. But the Elorian uh, and Sepoian, they're literally pulling sh stuff into a huge, uh, large ship. Um, uh, it's, it's made, sorry, just jerked. Uh, it's made by the Elorian. I had to take a second to look at it because there's a good number of Sepoian on there too. And I had to look at the structure of it, feel into it, and make sure it was Elorian, not Sepoian, but it, it is Elorian. Um, that's why I got jerked. Anyway, uh, uh, 
they they use that water like I said for a lot of things. Water the drink, uh, water the plants. The Illurian are going to use that water, you know, once they clean it, um, to put over the uh, soil. And th they have these the low flying vehicles. They're very low, and they softly go over flat earth. And in the very front of the ship where it comes out, it literally starts tearing up the ground a little bit, softening up. It, it's you, it's something like it's like some kind of modified tractor beam. It literally just pulls up the ground a little bit, but it churns it up also. And then it, it, it puts water down there and nutrients. Then it puts water in there, nutrients. Um, it, it finishes softening things up as it goes by. It's just it separates uh, the ground and soil, and it just smaller pieces. Uh, it's very small little pieces, so it's soft. It's beautiful, fertile soil when they're done, and then they put in seed. And boom. They, they go one line, then another line, then another line, and it'll do a whole field. It'll be barren, wasted uh, riverbed. And when they leave, it's fertile, and there's uh, um, seed in there that'll grow. Plants will come up. So... Uh, I'm sure they'll plant some of these, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, this, it's a plant that has incredibly high nutritional value and everything else, and it's the plants that are used for most of the synthesizers or replicators, you know, food replicators. Um, so when the people see the ships, well, first the people are going to not see the ships, but they're going to no notice what they did, then they'll see the ships come back to water it again. And then they see the plants grow. Then some scientists start taking a look at the plants, breaking them down. They're saying, wow, this is unique. Of course, the government will run in there and say, this stuff is GMO. Whatever. Um, they'll say it's their big thing. But they, they can't hide this stuff. And then you'll actually, once you understand who the Illyrian are and what they're doing and why they're here, then when you see them and they look so much different, it won't freak anyone out. Well, I mean, it's, it's still a, a smack when you see him, but it's it's not a freak out kind of thing. Oh, anyway, um, that's why they pull the water out. They've been doing it for a long time just to drink, but now it's more than that. Now it's time to, you know, fix the earth, fix the food problem we have here. And uh, something else coming up. One second, please. Okay. Um... This next quick video, this is going to be a lot quicker, um, is a simple structure that was seen uh, at the uh, uh, in uh, Antarctica, at the South Pole. Again, this this was just reported uh, by the same group. It's Secure Team Ten. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's being led his way that's very real, and there's a reason for that. It's because who he is inside, his heart, and everything else. There's other fakers out there that make stuff up, and he won't do that. He will he does the best he can to understand it, but he gets the idea he's supposed to put something out there, and he does. Um, and that's good. That's important. There need to be some good people to f that do this stuff to find it and put it out there. Not someone who's going to take something good and turn it into some kind of fantasy or something. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at that video, and I'll explain it. Okay, here it is again. Secure Team 10. Found it. Alien ship being stored at South Pole, 123.17. This gentleman here, uh, you know, says that this footage came in. Thanks to people for sending the footage. And let me just try to get this thing rolling a little bit. He talks about some of the pyramids being found up in the Antarctic. You know, it... <laughs> You know, it used to be a lot warmer climate. The poles have shifted on this planet a few times. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get into... Uh, okay. That is what he's saying is a ship. Okay. Now. Th these are one of some of the mountains and caves that are in there. It's pretty big. Uh, you know, I really should show you this... Uh, where it first starts, let me see. Okay, here we go. Now let's just follow this in there. So 
So you see that's a large mountain range. We're talking about a big area. So this ship, th th if this is a ship, this is large. So he's saying this is a ship that's been here a long time. He says look at the design and everything uh, of these. And that's important. Take a look at these if you would. Let's see if... Uh, there. All right, it's hard to see, but there's some kind of weird curving lines over here. Now let me get to... Well... Now this is a large area. This you you saw this as it was shrinking, um, large caves and stuff. Folks, this is an entry. This is an entry. Over here, this line, this other line, this thing opens up. It literally opens up evenly all the way across. Ships can come in here, fly in, and fly out. It's a it's like a panel. It's a door. It goes straight down into the ice, and it goes to one of the open one of the openings on the huge ancient mothership that's underneath Antarctica. It's over a million years old, folks. It ain't going nowhere. They do maintenance on it to make sure it maintains its integrity under the ground. But that's what these lines are. It's a door that opens up. So it's not a ship. You see right here. See right here, folks, this is where the dirt and everything else, the snow, ice, this is where it goes up to it. That's where it goes up to it. This rim around here, that's a solid rim. That's a solid ring. Very strong, powerful metal. That's that's the, the outer ring structure that holds the whole thing together. So... There it is. You can see right there. These are the pieces that slide back in, in inside here. It's and it, see the ground over there. Hold on one second. See, look at this. Look at how it slopes up. And then it goes down, folks. That, that that's a tube where it goes down. The stuff comes. I can see the stuff coming in, flying in there. Direct line goes straight in there because these small these ships coming in are really small. They're you know if they're the size of this arrow, they're huge. It's an opening. And it's for access. It, it's one of a few, the few just the uh, four main ones, where you can actually go into this main ship. Okay. But uh, that's what that is. It's, it's an access to go into uh, underneath Antarctica. Okay, it's a door. Okay, there, folks. So, uh, uh, what? The person who took this video, and then also the gentleman from Secure Team 10 who sent it to put it on the internet, gave you some very, very important information. It's something that you needed to see. It's, it's just to understand what it is. Um, that's where they go in. That's one place where ships come in. So... Uh, tra the uh, um, TR-3s and 4s, those uh, triangular sh uh, ships that belong to the governments and those things here on the planet, they go in and out there all the time. It's kind of like a safe place. It's a place where they can meet. So, it's, it's almost like a, I don't know how to describe it, uh, a neutral zone or something. So anyway, uh, now the one other thing I want to tell you, and I got to hurry and do this. I got to get this uh, on the internet before uh, uh, there's any chance of it happening. I also mentioned that uh, uh, happening before this gets out uh, today, tonight, Wednesday, <coughs> uh, January twenty uh, fifth, twenty seventeen. There's going to be some uh, starships uh, moving around in uh, part of the uh, Gulf of Alaska. And it's relative to some things going on. I'll, I'll explain in a minute, but uh, uh, it, it has to do with warfare. Uh, Alaska's had problems. I've been there myself, uh, waking up and then just seeing myself there as energy and what was going on. Uh, attacking a FEMA base up there, um, 
all kinds of stuff. But anyway, um, uh, let me show you who's going to do what where. Okay, but and also where you're going to uh, where ships are going to be seen. Okay, um, all right. Let's take a look at that map. Okay, folks. Oh, let's play with this just a little bit. Okay, here's Yukon. There's Alaska. And uh, here's the Gulf of Alaska. Okay. There's going to be ships flying around here. Uh, there's going to be some that will be moving along the coast coming out here. Some of them go back out. Some of them go in. Uh, you're going to see some activity uh, of uh, starships moving this way across across Canada. Some of them be going across Canada and coming over here this way. And right about here they'll start going down. Now, um, right here in this area, here we are. So here's activity here, some moving this way over here. Uh, and so some of them, got so a couple of them coming from over here. In this area, there's a lot going on. There's going to be ships landing, physically landing on the ground. Now this is a big area, okay? Uh, I'm not giving away anything. Ships will be uh, coming in. There's lines from around this area. There's like there's like a nexus over here of uh, different, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, uh, capsule tubes, whatever. So transportation tubes that go from here out into the uh, ocean, you know, uh, into the mountains, carry stuff. You know, there are different tubes, but there's a place right over here and then a larger nexus right in here. Uh, things are going to be done here. There'll be implosions. Um, there'll be soft stuff. The implosion <clears throat> is uh, puts out a strong power level, but it doesn't read normal on seismographs. There'll be people who have seismographs that'll be reading it. Um, as long as they're nearby it, they'll get a real funny uh, uh, reading. Folks, these are the people that have come here literally to free us, and uh, some of the weaponry being used here is DROC, uh, as well as uh, some of the DROC anted, and there's, there's Others, very important people that are here to do this. And they're landing here. They're coming in tonight. Tomorrow, Thursday, is when you'll see them stronger. They're just starting to come in and fly around and do stuff tonight. Tomorrow, they're going to come in here in mass. I don't mean the sky's going to be full of starships. So, you know, let's not go there. Um, uh, that's not what I'm saying whatsoever. But they are going to be coming in in what they need to do. And then they will be handling. They're going to cripple the distribution of stuff through Alaska. When, what, one thing that the Drock and the Antids and these other wonderful uh, freedom fighters on our behalf are doing, they're literally shutting down the the ability of the Anunnaki to run this planet to take out of it what they want. Folks, there's still gold down deep in Alaska. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Okay, I bet uh, yeah, one thing you, you can be sure of, they're not here for the oil. Okay, let, let me get off of uh, this right here. Okay, folks, well, that's what I was in a rush to uh, get out there. Whether you see that, uh, a couple of them flying around having fun tonight. Actually, those are scout ships, and not really having fun. I shouldn't have said that, but there's also, well, there's other stuff being done, but I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't give everything away. But anyway, there's going to be some ships flying around tonight, okay? You'll be seeing them near the coast. There'll be a little more movement up in the Yukon and Alaska uh, going up north where I showed you. Um, also, uh, uh, Thursday is when it gets real strong. So, that's tomorrow night. Today's the 25th, so it'll be 1-26-2017. Uh, and then also the 28th is a very strong day. It's got something to do with... a. It, 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 in many ways it is, but you'll be finding out more about that soon. And it'll be caught and put on a video. So, um, this is not about, you know, wow, Jay knew something, big deal. Um, the big deal is that you know something. The big deal is that I can tell you a few things. You'll see them happen, whether it's now or later. You know, could be shortly after I'm dead. You know, it doesn't matter that this body, anyway. 
this body is a is a unique thing, just like you. It's a physical DNA and stuff that comes together, makes a body, and uh, there's two spirits. And well, I used to have two spirits, or just one now. But anyway, uh, the spirit of the planet, human essence, that was broken off over 10 million, well, a little bit, 11 million years ago. Blah. Um, but uh, also then my own personal spirit, who I am inside. So, um, like Herky, um, I I really. I loved Herky so much. I can't say I still love Herky because Herky was a physical animal body that was DNA from the planet. And then um, it was also, it, it, originally it had the um, uh, Earth uh, 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 planetary essence, that of Gaia, a piece of that in there. And then what I would want to call Herky now and that's Herky's actually sp actual spirit, his source animal. And that's what Herky was, a combination of these things. But now I release that. And who Her Herky, the main part of what who, who Herky was inside, he's with me all the time. So um, I'll mention Herky when he's, um, uh, if I'm talking to someone so they know who I'm talking about. But that's not Herky. Herky was the body with the other things in it, the the mixture of things, just like you, your parents, all the animals, plants. Um, that's who we really are. And when the body goes, uh, please, uh, if you had a good relationship with the individual, honor that. Honor the, the presence, their being here. Um, but when that goes, folks, you need to do what you can to let go of it because now they're broken down and they're separate components. The material goes back to the planet or pops down, whatever, um, falls apart, burn up, either way, don't worry about it. Um, then there's the spirit from the planet goes out and goes its way, and then the main part of what it was inside, which is you, comes out, goes to the other side, foot and a half to the right, three foot up, just goes like that. So uh, you actually go about two and a half feet. That's about how far you tra travel when you come out of your body. So anyway... Uh, uh, Susie um, came to me. She's uh, another dog I lost uh, just a while back. Um, Susie was awesome. And uh, uh, she came up to me uh, just a short while ago. As a matter of fact, I was taking a shower, trying to hurry up to get ready to take the vid do the videos. The next thing I know, uh, I heard her bark. I heard her, just like you hear me talking to you. Now, was that actually happening here? No. That sound was reproduced in my head out of my out of one of my memories, so I know exactly who it was. It was uh, Susie barking, just a soft bark. So uh, when that happened, it got my attention. And then all of a sudden, I said, "Okay, Susie," and I just looked, and there she was, right next to me. Uh, and she said, "Daddy, uh, uh, 237." And then she relaxed and said, "732." They're reciprocals, and I'm like, "That's weird." Um, so she said uh, 237 of the universes uh, are set up, ready for beings to come in. And uh, she said 732 planets, as of now, um, have uh, plant life and everything growing on them. And uh, <clears throat> planetary um, essence within them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, that was really neat. Folks, there's so much going on. Um, I talk about all this different stuff for a reason. It's important to you whether you know it or not yet. There's no me in there, man. It's just you. It's happening. Come on. It's coming out everywhere. So, when I see something that's important, and I know I need to get it out to you, it usually takes me three or four days, maybe two. But this morning I was hammered to go look at something by one of my family's source spirit animals. And he, he said they're coming, they're coming tonight. You know, Thursday, really big, but they're gonna be here tonight. And I'm like, okay. And so then I'd stop and I had to go look and I saw it. It'll just keep getting more and more. It's time. Just because this body isn't dead yet doesn't mean it's not happening. It needs to go to really put things in overdrive and it will. Everything's still happening. I'm still stuck here just for a short while longer, but in the meantime, everything's already moving forward. 
and that allows me to calm down so I don't have to consider uh, trying to push my way back home. It's, it's going to happen. I'll be relaxed and boom. Just as natural as breathing or not. <clears throat> I already know exactly how it happens. It's no big deal. It's just like when you're living. Live. For Pete's sake, man. Have a life. Do what you can. Follow your feelings, your thoughts. Flow with what you feel is right. Go. But when it's time to go, when for the body to die, don't worry about it. For Pete's sake, you're going home. These physical vehicles literally are like the almost perfect, I don't believe in perfection. I don't believe in perfect. There's no such thing. It's good to try to be better. Perfection is, is, is a movement towards sanity. Uh, always help to always try to improve things, make them better yourself or whatever, but don't strive for perfection because there's no such thing. It's like striving to, to sp sprout wings out of your back and fly. Folks, ain't happening. Not in the body. No. So anyway, uh, uh, it's just time for this stuff to happen. You're going to see it. It's not much longer. Uh, it's already starting to happen, but it's not much longer before the larger stuff just breaks out. And uh, this, this, um, this facility, these certain functions in Alaska and the Yukon area, they're being shut down. Okay. Uh, one of the most instrumental parts of this, of course, the drop always are all the equipment and everything, but there's some antis here that are going to do what needs to be done in places that no one else is aware of. And I'm talking, even though the Anunnaki have been here, even the problematic Anunnaki that have been such a pain and abusing this planet uh, and everything on it, including it, uh, for over 10 million years, they're not aware of these places. They're not aware of these places. So, um, I was just that little smack in the chair is being told, don't say too much. And uh, Anyway, uh, well, you'll see. But uh, I want to explain the other stuff, too, while I'm at it. And it's not a ship, it's an entry port, okay? Love you, man. Have a good one.